Good evening, I'm Barbara Brozier. The Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office says it will not be releasing the name of the male student accused of opening fire in a Noblesville West Middle School classroom last week, injuring a teacher and student. In a statement, the prosecutor says the investigation remains ongoing. Information about the student's identity will only be released if prosecutors file a petition in the case. Noblesville West Middle School will open for the first time since the shooting on a two-hour delay tomorrow. The Indiana Recovery Alliance hosted the first of what it hopes will be many walks where community members can help pick up syringes they find on the street. It took place in Monroe County, which has a syringe exchange in place. We want the community again to be very aware that the, the actual risk of a community found syringe is negligible, uh, whereas the real danger lies in denying access to people who are using drugs, uh, syringes, clean syringes. Abert says he hopes to continue the weekly walks throughout the summer. And the city of Bloomington wants the public's input on a proposal to expand trails at Griffey Lake Nature Preserve. While there are already several routes hikers can take, none of them allow people to hike all the way around the lake. We have a section of trail on the north shore of the lake that extends over two miles and we would with this loop trail be able to connect that to the south shore where we do have some trails but there are definitely gaps. Residents can leave comments about the proposal on the city's website. Now let's take a look at your weather. Tonight we've got a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 a.m., a low of 71 degrees. That rain could be around for a few days, though, folks. A high of 79 tomorrow, 70% chance of thunderstorms. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.